What's going on, peeps? Bonjour, my friend. Uh, bonjour. Mon ami. So, get the volume shut off on my my phone here. How's everybody doing this evening? We have uh, a lot of stuff going on and lots of things happening. So, yeah, we've got a lot, lot to talk about tonight. Good stuff. Good times. Good down. Yeah. I have an ad. You got, oh, yeah. There, that happens from time to time. Mm -hmm. Hey, Zach. What up, Zach? How's it going? William, Michael, Penny. Yeah. Monster Racing, Eggs and Ham. Hi, my people. <laughs> Hi, my people. Oh, so anything uh, good happened for, for anyone this week? Everybody have fun? Work hard? Do all the things? No. No, you didn't? I worked hard. Oh, you worked hard, okay. I didn't do all the things. You didn't do all the things? It wasn't gotcha. fun. It wasn't fun. I was <clears throat> over it by Friday. <laughs> well, yeah, I was over it by Friday as well. Yep. Oh, I, I didn't turn on the old... Uh, Benny said, no good, no fun. <laughs> no good, no fun. I feel you, girl. <laughs> yeah. We got Mr. Uh, Octopus here with his light. We'll set, set him over here. So, we've got uh, several things, several new printed things going on. Um, we've got... I don't know. Have you seen P in here yet? Mm-mm. Maybe, maybe we'll wait on some of his stuff. That's a good question, Michael. Where is Mikey? Maybe he's on a date. <laughs> oh, yeah, could be. Yeah. Maybe maybe everybody gave him a hard enough time that he finally worked up the courage. Zach said he worked too much. Yeah, yeah. I hear you, man. Yeah. It's been uh, crazy. My uh, place of employment, we have just been insanely busy. Tons and tons of phone calls. Mine just requires a lot of thought and brain stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Grateful Panic Night Review Knife Reviews. Welcome. How are you doing, sir? Thanks for calling us beautiful. Be beautiful people. I personally will take that as... A massive compliment. I need it. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. BJ decided to come this time. What's up, Bunyip? So, what up, BJ? Manny. You, so, he's not dead, folks. BJ, BJ Hill's still alive, still on the right side of the grass. Lone Wolf. Louie Louie. What up? Oh, no, you got the Rona. I had to have a vid test on Friday. Because I have a, an endoscopy tomorrow. But um, I was all scared it was going to go up my nose. And it didn't. It <laughs> yeah. went in my throat hole. Yeah. I, mean, I wasn't scared. But, you know, that's not the most exciting feeling. Yeah, having a, a swab stuck on your brain stem. Yeah. Peepsoles. What are peepsoles, BJ? What's that green that... box cutter? Nunya. <laughs> oh, yeah, the green box cutter. So uh, the uh, proponent, uh, this is a exactly BJ. 3D printed uh, uh, version. And, oh, good Lord. Uh, I got magnets in here. So to keep it closed, and there's one, I don't know how well you guys can see this. But there's a magnet here, here, and here. So in the open position, and then in the closed position, it uh, holds on to the blade as well as the magnet back here. So just a 3D printed version of the uh, like the CRKT proponent. Oh, thanks, Zach. Oh, hey, thank you so much, Zach. That's an adorable Oop. little ninja dog. Or cat, I don't really know. Kiai. 
So yeah, a little box cutter. Chop you so hard in the throat. And then uh, I got these uh, really cool conical gears here, and there's three of them. Uh, this is like I don't know, just a thing to mess around with and fidget toy or something. I don't I don't know what you want to call it, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. It makes me mad. It doesn't move easily enough. Your daughter feels the same way. Oh, it should move easier? A little easier, yeah. Oh, Makes, okay. I think it's crap. You think it's crap, <laughs> yeah. huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they move pretty free. I mean, it's not like... No, not enough. Well, there's a lot of friction there. There's a lot going on on that thing. But, yeah, just a little bit of a curiosity. A curiosity. Yeah. I don't hear people use that. And then that way very often. I also made this puzzle here, which is a massive pain in the ass. Uh, you can see I put magnets in this as well. So, you know, it closes like so. And you have the... Uh, oh, uh, I dicked it up. You have the easy side and the hard side. And this puzzle only has uh, four pieces. Hey, Mark. And it is insanely difficult. So, that's pretty interesting. He keeps printing all this stupid stuff. <laughs> no. All that, this stupid that, stuff? Yeah. That's you think this the, is stupid? The puzzle's stupid because I couldn't get it. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. It's super hard. Yeah. Um, it was more intense than expected. Yeah. Yeah, it, the puzzle is no joke. But, so, yeah, I've printed a whole bunch of things. Um and yeah quite quite a few things actually um i also printed a, a 3d scanner uh, which is pretty cute so there's the puzzle and of course you know i did this on that uh that live stream a couple weeks ago and I'm then not sure yet bun yet I printed uh, one of my logos here and uh i've had some people ask about, um, you know, maybe you can see this. This is uh, eight millimeters. Uh, actually, I think it was ten. Thanks, BJ. You don't need to be doing that, people. But, you know, if you want to, you can. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's ten mil. BJ uh, says, thick. I want a knife stand now. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, and I made this knife stand here, um, which uh, is pretty cool. About time you got here, Mikey. Math test. So I made this little five uh, knife stand. And so you got the smaller uh, slots for the blade. And then these kind of J hooks for the handles to sit in. So. What are you dinging about, Michael? Little five knife stand. I think it turned out pretty cool. Ugh, dumb internet. Dumb internet? Yeah, Monster's having trouble with his internet. He's going to go reset it. Oh. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry to hear that, Monster. Oh, but... oh, the donation bell. I see, I see. So, yeah. We'll throw some knife. Throw some knives up in here. Boy. So, the little, the little knife stand's pretty cool. I dig it. And then... Uh, well, since we're talking about printed things, let me move some stuff because I, I do have a few other things. Hey, Mikey, you know you can just go to the store and, like, buy a hanger for your closet, right? You don't have to print it. But whatever. Buy, you do you. <laughs> buy a, or. He said I he made some jacket hangers for my closet oh. I'm gonna, he, that he's throwing on the printer tomorrow. Hey, Poncho. So... I also made this, which is a 3D scanner. Uh, it's quite interesting. You talking about Justin's boobs, Poncho? <laughs> he said, look at that rack. Whoa. The knife rack. Oh, oh, gotcha. So this thing here, um, it's got a... Uh, a phone stand um, so you can use this with your phone and you can put it in different positions here uh, and the turntable here is 200 millimeters uh, across 
And this works with an iPhone, and you can, I don't know how well you can see it. You can see it perfectly. Can, okay, so there's a, a gear that's driving the underneath side of this table off the handle, so it rotates the table when you rotate the handle. But you can see these, uh, these real rounded lobes here that's attached to the, the drive gear. Um, what you do is you take the, the uh, headphones that uh, ship uh, new with an iPhone and the little volume control that's in, in line on the headphones will fit in this space. And then there's a hole down here to run the, the cord through. But anyway, you, you place that in here. So this, this part here pops up. Uh, you put the, your volume control here, and then as you rotate this, it uh, pushes the button on the volume control, and when you have the headphones p plugged in, uh, and you have the photo app open, when you push the volume control, it takes a photograph. So, you can put something like this in the middle, and rotate it, and when you rotate it 360 degrees, it takes a total of 55 pictures. And then you can uh, use some photogrammetry uh, software and import all those photos to recreate whatever item you placed in the center of this. So it's just a fixture to hold your phone steady and take pictures from every conceivable angle. Um, As yeah. you can see, he's addicted to printing. <laughs> uh, I don't know about addicted to printing, but you know. Had lots of things to do. So many, so much, so many things to do, and, oh, and just enough not time. enough time. So I also printed this. I, I printed this actually a couple of weeks ago, and I just don't. I don't think we ever showed this, did we? No, no, we haven't, Mikey. So I printed this for for Berkeley, and this is something I found online, um, and it printed in place all one print, uh, printed like this. Uh, which was really kind of quite interesting uh but it's a samurai sword and you <laughs> exactly can see all exactly. the layers uh in there and when you do this it comes out now um all the pe all the parts uh do telescope uh but they're pretty tight so they don't extend as far as they should they get a little bound up um but you know, it just needs to be worked in. Need, needs a lot of in and out action, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what kind of man are you? Are you a leg man or a butt man or a boob man? There's a little talk about what kind of man. Oh. I'm just curious. I don't think I've ever asked you. Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm, I'm kind of down with. I'm, I guess I'd say I'm an ass man. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have a proper <laughs> ass. <laughs> Um, Sorry, I let you down in yeah. all fronts, actually. <laughs> oh, no, Jesus, here we go. <laughs> New LARPing fun, yeah, exactly. We're going <laughs> to... Could be Jason. Molly, break her in. Oh. <sighs> um, so, yeah, got a bunch of things. And so there's been a handful of people ask for different things, whatever. I don't know if you guys want to see... Um, you know, this is what I designed as kind of like my maker's mark, if you will. Uh, you know, I could make like coasters or something or a knife stand out of this or something like that. You guys let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, you nasty. We can, uh, I mean, I can do, you know, a whole, whole bunch of different things. So, uh, yeah, pretty cute. Meet at the park tomorrow for a LARP. Yeah. Uh, speaking of... Hold on, I gotta print some more LARPing paraphernalia. <laughs> some, some LARPing accoutrement? Yes. Alright. Speaking of logos and stuff, uh, is Stasa in here? No. Not that I've seen. Not that you've seen. Okay. So, I've been playing around with Stasa's logo. He sent me some chunks of leather... Uh, <laughs> BJ, he said, make me some OCD for EDC earring. <laughs> earrings. Yeah, right on. Yeah, uh, we could, actually. So, so this is laser etched. I actually laser etched both sides of this at different settings. And this is what it looks like just untouched right off of the laser. Um, and you have to uh, do something. There's lots of different ways to do it. But I use a toothbrush 
to get rid of all the burnt uh, leather. I'll give you a close up look at this. And so that it's technically ash, I guess you could say, that's on there. Um, but uh, the camera is not really doing it justice. Hey, Paul. Because there's quite a big difference between each side. And this is the unfinished side of the leather or like the back side. I was curious to see what the differences would be. Um, but let's... Uh, Let's do a little toothbrushing on here and see what we get. This is always kind of fun uh, because th this will like bring out all the detail in it once you get rid of all the ash. Now I understand why some of the toothbrushes for cleaning were black. Oh, I just thought that was from you brushing your teeth. Zing! Got her! <laughs> hmm. Okay. I've only used a couple for this, but I mean, yes, you married me. They'll, they'll turn they'll turn black from doing this faux show like that. You kiss his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Stop choking on your bone, bro. Quit taking that? up your mother. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said it, I was like, I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. You get what you get with me. <laughs> That's right. What's that tool you're using? Never did I seen one of them, <laughs> BJ said. <laughs> well, I don't know if they have these down there in uh, Virginia Tucky, but... Uh, Virginia Tucky. Uh... Hey, Randy. So... We'll have to... All right, now you can see, still kind of hard to see um, on camera. It looks oil. different. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to do multiple things uh, to this, but so this is just what it looks like when it comes off. But then you see the ash gets in uh, to the pores and stuff, so you got to clean it all out. Uh, just is what it is. Well, it's your fault, Poncho. You got a nasty mouth. I had to send you a toothbrush. Really, it's because they give us toothbrushes and all that junk when we go to the dentist every time, but we all have electric toothbrushes, so... Yep. True that. They either get used for cleaning or for boxo crap. <laughs> boxo crap. I think a toothbrush is a is a great gift. Right. I mean, it lets you know, or it lets the person know that you care about them. You right. want them. To I have care good about oral your oral hygiene. health. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to say, Poncho. So, yeah, I like. Uh, the, the front side is much nicer. Uh, this was tighter detail. Uh, this one was done at uh, 10 passes per millimeter. Uh, and this one was done at 5. So, just like higher resolution on the front side, but... Oh, thank goodness. Ethan's here. Here. You take a look. What do you think? It certainly looks better in person than on camera. It's just like it's hard to get the definition or the detail to come out on camera. Mm. I mean, it still needs to be cleaned up and stuff. Yeah, no, I think that looks cool. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Pretty cool. Right on. Okay, so, uh, is William, William was in here, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. He was. All right, so, I don't know if you guys saw the other day. Unless um, he got offended and left. <laughs> yeah, unless he got offended and left. Um, uh, I did a video about, uh, uh, a pair of American Blade Works, uh, Model 1 version 4, uh, knives, and this one here, uh, belongs to the Apex Passaround group. 
so this will be uh, shipping out tomorrow. Uh, to on to the next person. What up, Evilly? But, uh, so I did the video and talked about the knife. And uh, the other one that I had in the video was a micarta version. And one of the things that I kind of, I don't know, about complained <clears throat> about or said that I, that personally I wasn't a big fan of was the plain acid etch on the blade. That I would rather it be uh, acid etched and stone washed. Uh, and so William hit me up after the fact and sent me uh, a text or something. I don't remember how, but anyway, he messaged me and said that he would like to have the one that I had of his uh, acid washed uh, or, or stone washed. And so here is the blade. So that's the before and after. Um, and now you can actually see where it says S35VN. That looks so much better. Acid washed. Yeah. So on the stock stock one, oop, you can barely tell where it says S35VN. And then you can see S35VN. And then I put my Maker's Mark logo on there, but just barely, it's just kind of ghosted on there, which I could do it a little darker. It it looked a little better than that, and then I stonewashed it probably a little too long, and it just took a little more off than I was expecting. Uh, but but I think the blade turned out really cool. There's our child. It looks beautiful. And Taking after your father being late. It's super, super smooth. And, yeah, I just, uh, I like it quite a bit better. Then the chalky texture of the acid etch, the the stone washed uh, looks looks really nice. And then we got another acid etched and stone washed blade here. Um, <laughs> this one is for uh, well, we're gonna put both these knives back together, and we'll check them out, see what they look like in the handles. You have a cleaning party every Sunday, and this Sunday it was at twenty hundred or whatever. Twenty o'clock. Twenty hundred. Twenty hours. <laughs> twenty hours. <laughs> Do you not know military time? I mean, I like I could tell you what time this twenty is. I'd have to count, but yes, I can. <laughs> okay. I don't know how you say it though. All right. Well, first things first on this guy, we need to get this. Uh, Did you do the hardware too? The hardware of what? The knife. The American Blade Works? I guess. No. No, I left the hardware alone. <laughs> Don't laugh uh, at your mother. <laughs> do you so, want a brush? What? Do you want a brush for the acetone? Nope. Okay. Just telling you. The boys would think it's real pretty. And it'd work way better. I'm fine. Mm hmm. Are the American Blade Works blades bead blasted then etched? No. They're just acid etched. Um, so they're... I mean, they may be bead blasted first, but either way, the, the acid just eats off whatever whatever sort of mechanical finish that they put on there, the acid etching just eats that off. And so you just have just an acid etch finish, uh, which is, if you're not familiar with what that feels like, uh, it's just a very, very chalky like uh, feel and uh, texture and whatnot. Who likes a chalky feel? Not me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I did see on uh, in the comments. I saw that someone commented and said that on his version five, uh, apparently the uh, owner, the American Blade Works guy, Mike Michael Martin, uh, he uh, fixed the pocket clip, which is great. So they he's made improvements, and 
you know, every version that comes out, they just get incrementally better, uh, which is cute. super cool. That's real cool. Uh, and so, like I said, the, the two that I have are both V4, uh, but but uh, V5s recently uh, came out, or a, a small number of them. I don't know how many exactly, but, but uh, apparently he fixed the clip. Which is super cute. Hmm. What, are you just mesmerized over here? Molly's just staring at I me. I just don't have a lot to say. Silently. Yeah. Do you know if the ProTech TR5.70 Auto Z <laughs> have washers or bearing pivots? Uh, the ProTech, which one? Which model? 5.7? I, I don't... Most ProTechs do not have washers, period. Uh, they're... They just have, uh, aluminum... Bosses, if you will, or, uh... TR5 Autos. TR5 autos. I, I would have to look at the exact model that you're talking about. I just, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but the vast majority of Protex do not have any washers at all. They're just, they're like the Hogue, the aluminum handled Hogues, uh, where there's just a, a machined uh, portion that. Yeah, BJ that, says probably no washers or bearings. Yeah. Yeah, they, they generally don't have anything. So. Hey, Taz. Um, I'm going to say neither. He said Marvel or DC. And, of course, Mikey, there's very commonly nail polish on me. Although, I guess last week I didn't. But, there you go. Trying red. I got it for the Christmas. Yeah, she asked me earlier which color... I thought, and she gave me a couple options, and hey, Winchester. I told her, she, you know, she always does, like, blues and purples, so I told her to go red, but, uh, yeah, yippers, try something different, uh, the other Wearing knife, red too. There's, there's a lot of aluminum handled knives that don't have washers, like the Kalashnikovs, uh, they're the same type of thing, uh, where... Uh, they actually the Kalashnikov sometimes will have a little Teflon washer in there or a plastic washer of some sorts, uh, but that's not actually to make them function correctly. That's just making up for um, uh, tolerances, manufacturing tolerances, and making sure you know trying to get rid of a little bit of blade play. Uh, so some of those may have washers and some may not. I don't even know which superheroes go with which side. I'm a terrible American. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to get into my box. When is... my, my mod box here. When is OCD's PSA starting? Oh, Do you have that... a PSA? Is that, is that BJ that said that? Yeah. Yeah, so... Um... BJ and I were talking earlier, and I can't even remember exactly what what we were discussing. And oh, I'll go Marvel then. When I I said something to him about oh that was a public service announcement, and then one thing led to the next, and then it came up that that uh, that I should do that and post a, a public service announcement like once a month and and it would be a video of me just bitching about something <laughs> <laughs> that something that people do yeah uh that i don't like hell yeah we could <laughs> my friends and i used to have a podcast called bitching with beers and we would bitch about a topic that you know annoyed us and try yeah. a new beer every week so I, we could do something. I'm a seasoned professional at bitching. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to grab, I forgot something. 
Oh, dang. Don't take anything yet. Why? Because I may be talking about something. Uh, oh, I wish I could, Mikey, but one of our members kind of went off the deep end, and, uh, I, yeah, I've stepped away from that drama. Yeah, it's out to the public. It's on uh, iTunes. Yeah, well, it's actually not the loud drinker, Jazz. That's kind of funny you say that because um, that's old man. Extra loud drinker is in our daughter's room right now. So, but yeah, it. he was going at it, huh? Zach, he said I can't take anything. Not yet. Um, He's all, the meanest. I'm the meanest. <laughs> Putting There's, stipulations on our fun game. <laughs> There's there I'm I'm still working with things here, so I don't want her pilfering my things until uh, later. So one of the interesting things about this knife uh, here is the American Blade Works uh, Model One V4. Well, I hope your fruit trees last and make it through, Taz. I just saw that. So if you guys wanted to see how these things are assembled, uh, here you go. <laughs> So the uh, uh, body screws here are T8, uh, and they are threaded into uh, the Max Spacer. You think, Sean? The the uh, liners are titanium. Uh, the hardware is all stainless. Um, Back Spacer is also titanium, and the way that it is. In here, uh, there's a countersunk screw in the backspacer. Human kids or animal kids, Taz? What's the steel on this? That holds uh, the uh, pocket clip on. Uh, blade steel is S35VN. And so, uh, titanium uh, here for the oh. liner, uh, liner lock. Oh, I love jam, Taz. <laughs> Ceramic ball. So, nicely done. Uh, they're well made. We lost a bunch of fruit trees, too. With the derecho and just various lack of care from the previous, you know, owner. She was older, so she couldn't manage them. One of the things that I would like to see as far as a change on this knife... Uh, so harder the the, uh, the pocket clips sit uh, where and the end of the clip doesn't actually touch the scale it sticks up off the scale a little bit but I think it would be cool if he would move the pocket clip up and use this back uh, body screw uh, so you'd end up with a little deeper carry but then you would also be able to reverse the pocket clip um, and Miss your little face Carter, uh, Paxton's Carter is Oh, in. what up, Carter? How are you doing? Just dieseling around, are you? Just dieseling around. <laughs> Just dieseling around. Woo, choo, 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 choo. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your turbo noises? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's from TikTok. <laughs> it's from the Tratters. <laughs> oh, good oh, God. I love it. <laughs> so you can see here, we got a little, uh, a little weight relieving going on in the back spacer. So, nicely done. Uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Martin just hit me up on the Instagram. Uh, just literally uh, a couple minutes before we went live here. And I told him I was going to be talking about his knives if he wanted to come and hang out for the live. So, we'll see if he comes in here. What's the knife below the red spider co symbol? That yeah. This we're, we'll talk about that one here. Stay tuned. We'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> Carl's making uh, turbo noises too. Who? Carl Andrews. Oh, okay. I don't know him personally. <laughs> gotcha. 
How how do his turbo noises go? Sha ta ta ta. Sha ta ta ta. Yeah. Well, your yours was more like a little bit of blow off valve. Yeah. Little, little yeah, yeah, of, yeah yeah yeah. You need to do the wastegate. You get the wastegate involved. <laughs> mm. You know. Yeah, I like a good wastegate. Absolutely. It's very satisfying. Faux show. Sure. Can we get something with the wastegate again? Uh, uh yeah. Uh, Did you ever list the rubber pivot gaskets you use anywhere? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't remember which video, uh, but in one of my videos, Somewhere I posted. Out there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, anywho, uh, <laughs> in one of my videos, I, I think it was a live, actually, um, I posted a link uh, to the O rings that I use uh, for Pivot. Uh, hardware. It was a live. Was it? Yeah, I, th I think it was a live sh show. That yeah, Evilly said I ordered some and okay. it was a live. Yeah, so if you just go through our list of live videos, it's probably from four or five weeks ago, something like that. And it's dead. very seldom, or, you know, it's only going to be one or two that have links like that in the video description. So just go through there and you'll see, uh, and it's listed in there what the size of them and stuff are. But you can get them on Amazon for, they're not much, just a couple bucks. Uh, but they work extremely well and then you don't have to uh, jack around with Loctite. Do, Makes it a lot nicer. Taz wants to know, do high, do high temperatures affect bearings or phosphor bronze washers? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, depending on how high a temperature is, but yes, there is a a point there where uh, absolutely high temperatures will affect it. Not like blow torches, just a very hot day. Oh, just a hot day? Yeah. No. It's okay then. No, you're not going to have any issues. Uh, just, I mean, if you're talking like up to you know 150 or 170 degrees, if you like. If you left it in your car in direct sun or something, uh, even you know, even down in Tasmania, um, you might get up to 170 Fahrenheit or something in a in a in a vehicle like that. Uh, and no, you, there won't be any effect there at those kinds of temperatures. But if you got up to like, you know, something over 200 uh, degrees uh, Celsius, 200 C. Or like four, four hundred, four fifty Fahrenheit. Uh, yes, then you could uh, see a noticeable difference. Yes, we did, Stud. Well, we didn't do anything. He did it. What's that? Printed this. Oh yeah. Stop <sighs> watching the football game. Watch us. What football game's on? Oh, it's the Chiefs and the... The who? Was it, you guys? The who? I didn't know they played football. No. No, 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 no. The Chiefs and the... The Chefs. The Chefs and the Dookie Browns. So... Okay, well... I don't know if it's Dookie Browns. I was just guessing. You were just guessing? Or wait, is it the Bills that they're playing? No, yeah, the Bills. The Chefs versus the Bills? The Chefs and the Bills. Hmm. I haven't uh, paid any attention at all to football this year, so I don't even know... Who's in the playoff games? I, these are divisional games this weekend, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> Taz said, who is Bill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yep. Um, yes, he is 3 d printing the knife racks art. Yeah. What's that? Um, stud... 
I'm pretty sure he got the file on Thingiverse for that. Um, Which one? Little knife. This. Oh yeah. Yep. NFC and M- NFC championships. Does the Karambit take a utility blade? Yes. Yes, it takes a utility blade, and um, you can put magnets in it uh, to hold it open and closed. Bills are only down by twenty three with four minutes left. Oh, they got this. Takes just the back. just the standard uh, standard utility blade. Oh, the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl again, eh? Right on. It's all because of uh, uh, Carl's wife. <laughs> oh. She single-handedly got him there last year, and she's taking him again this year. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so here uh, is the ABW Model 1 version 4 with a stonewash blade. And what to do with the... Oh, duh. And then one with the acid etch. So... Who's Chudley? Micarta here and gray and black G10. And then you can see the difference in the blades here. You guys have to let me know what you think. If you like one better than the other. Hi, Hooligan. What do you think? You take a look. What What do you want me to... The difference Which within the blades. Like? Which one do you like better? I already told you I like the stone wash one better or whatever. Okay. Or acid wash, whatever. Because I don't like how dull and... I, it looks chalky. Yeah. You know? It feels. I Did know. Did you feel the difference in them? Here. No. Oh, yeah. I just... I don't like that feeling. That yeah, it's like sticky. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. The stone wash is uh, much much nicer. Mm-hmm. Faux show. Yeah, I well, think it's way better. What else would they do evilly? Yeah, the stone wash. Uh, oh, just says the stone wash goes really well with the micarta too. Yeah, Agreed. yeah, I think so. I think it looks really good. Uh, by the way, Evil E, uh, your buddy, uh, shortly after the other night, um, when you emailed us about the CME, your buddy then ordered one just a couple minutes after that. Uh, so, so yeah, we do. Uh, we got that order. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. But you, oh my goodness, excuse me. Are you okay? <laughs> you gonna make it? I should. You should? Um, okay. Bunyip says you should stonewash that pivot now. The pivot? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hardware is um, something that is, uh, yeah, you can really screw it up. Um, and in my opinion here, it's not going to change the look hardly at all. I mean, maybe it'll lighten it up a tiny bit. Um, but... Yeah, you, you, the hardware just takes a long, long time with not a whole lot of benefit or gain out of it. I mean, it's one thing if you're going from, like, something shiny to black or something like that, then it makes a big difference in the look. Uh, but on something like this, it's just, uh, it's not really going to change it much. So, <gasps> anyway, I mean, it's all doable, but, all right. So, uh, we got one more to put together here. Gotcha, Evilly. We were worried because we, we were searching everywhere for it. And like, it's not here. So, this blade right here is out of this knife. Um, and this knife is going to Mr. Uh, Dave Warren uh, of Tuya Knife. And... Yeah, Stud, you have missed a lot. You need... I... You've been a terrible child, have not been coming to our lives, um, so you missed out on the CME. I guess you better just go to our website and... Oh, he doesn't even know what it is? No. Oh. No, oh, you're dead shit. to me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's been a while ago. You're You're, you're grounded? Stud. Yeah. You are, I'm putting you up for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Evilly. Spread the word. Okay. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, this particular knife is going to Mr. Uh, Dave Warren uh, with Tuya Knife. Uh, he wanted this one. You don't have a CME out here, do you? Uh, yeah, hmm. right here. Oh, yeah, there you go, stud. Fucker right there. So, there's a whole video about it, stud. Go check it out, and you'll see all the stuff. And there's been a few other channels. Uh, Stasa did a video on the CME. And so did uh, Blade Manor. Uh, he did a video as well. Well, BJ and Stud, I guess you're both getting put up for adoption. And you guys don't love us anymore, so fine. What what BJ do? He said Stud's almost as bad as he is. Oh. Yeah, well... You know, just, I get it. Everybody's got priorities and whatnot. Ain't no thing. Yeah. Oh, good God. Mod you up? It's like you're trying to speak to me, Zach. If that's some YouTube term, I don't know it. <laughs> I don't know. What did you, what'd you say? He said, mod me up, Molly, and I will post the links. Mod you up? I don't know. Oh, make him a moderator. That's what he's talking about. Make uh, him a moderator, and then he'll post links to... Don't you have to do that on the account? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm um, not on the account, Zach, but... Uh, I'll, uh, let me... I'll look into that. I'm... Guys? I got my laptop off to the side here. I'll see if I can do that real quick. The only thing I have to do with the YouTube channel is sitting here and bringing you laughs and joy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know nothing about no YouTube account having stuff. <laughs> <laughs> don't know nothing, huh? I don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. I'm just going to play dumb for the rest of my life, I think. <laughs> All you got to do is show off your pills. Yeah. just And then people will go, oh, got it. <laughs> oh, we understand. Are you, Is everything okay? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll do, Big Sal. Check your email. Me? I'm just the soundtrack. All right, so we've got an acid etched and uh, acid washed uh, blade here on the Tucson TS two seventy three. Uh, I'm gonna do some mod work to the handle as well. I just haven't gotten that far, uh, but I think it so looks pretty good. I have with so many pills, Jess. <laughs> the acid wash uh, blade, <coughs> and we're gonna go dark colors on the handle. Uh, should look pretty sweet. And, yeah, so you'll see some more on this uh, probably here in just a few days, but pretty cool. And mascot. <laughs> I'm digging it. This hmm. is this Thanks. is just a sweet-ass knife all the way around. Thanks, Slick. Big Sal's going to be in Des Moines in 30 hours. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Right on. I won't be. <laughs> yeah, Taz, I gotta take my brain pill too. I forgot. I'm glad we all said something. <laughs> of course, you forgot the brain pill. <laughs> the most important one. Yeah, that's right. Not the, the anxiety one. one of the or, day. Or the acid reflux one, but the brain one. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yep. Um... I just swallowed it. How are you going to get the orange insert out? Do you guys want to see that? Yeah, we do, Evilly. Uh, we should be best friends for it, too. Hi, Daniel. What are you wanting? Nate. You just swallowed 
Yeah. Um, yeah what's, I did. Uh, what's Zach's screen name? I'm trying Make the to... jokes. I'm here for your enjoyment. Uh, hey, I'm trying to add you in as a moderator, Zach. And I got... Oh, I got to put uh, the URL. Of... Okay, never mind. Sorry. I, I got it now. I think I got it. <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> 911. I can't just put your name in there. I got to put in uh, the URL of your channel. Yes, hello. I've been jujitsu. You've been jujitsu? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love Jenna Marble so much. <laughs> I've been jujitsu. I've been jujitsu. Okay, there you go. Uh, you should be able to click on my message here. Did he put a message in the in the stream? Any of his messages that he like types in the stream. Oh, types okay. In. Oh, there we go. That's on. Boom! Got the, it, Zach. I think you should be good now. I think that's in the works, stud. That made it. That made it a lot easier. Thanks. Would love to see you remove the epoxy G10 for the show. Okay, we'll do it. Um, I'll show I'll show you how to do it. I gotta go grab something. Can I please take something? Okay, you can do your thing. You trying to sneak a peek? You trying to no, cheat? No, no. You do you. I'm be just a second. He's trying to cheat, you guys. Hey, you guys. Guess what happened today? I had an eyelash in my eyeball. So I went to the bathroom to check it out, and I had an eyebrow hair that was like two inches long so i yanked it out fun story huh this is what it's like to live with me you're welcome <laughs> you're gross nate it was just an eyebrow hair Nothing too fancy. It's not like you had pubes in your eye. Yeah, we're not talking about pubes. <laughs> there are pubes in my eye. Okay, so. It was just like, hello? What's this two inch thing out of my forehead? You have two inch long eyebrow hair? It was just one. And it was like real fine. And it was gray. <laughs> it was gray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to require this tool right here and a battery. BJ, did you just call me boring? I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> beat the shit right out of you. On your website, include a bookmark key so we can add to home screen. Yeah, I'll see if I can figure that out. Not really. All right, so we're warming up. I got a soldering iron right here and just turned it on so it will warm up. <laughs> and then we're going to uninstallate this uh, knife here real quick. No, no, no. A two inch long eyebrow hair that was like growing out of the top of my eyebrow. Oh, I thought it was in your eye. No, I went in the bathroom because I had an eyelash in my eye. Oh. And then as I was getting that, I was like, what That's... the fuck is that? <laughs> you saw this big giant <laughs> yeah. long hair. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, I, there's, uh, well, I haven't went and got my hair cut in, well, since the Rona happened. Uh, but... This, so it's been quite a while ago, but this one time I was in getting my hair cut, and the lady's cutting my hair, and then she, I had this hair growing out of the top of my ear, like the the round part, the top of my ear, and it was like this long, and it was just right. like blowing out in the wind, and she like grabbed a hold of it and said, are you saving this for something? <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? And, and uh, yeah, she just took, whack, whacked it off. A place you never thought anything so long could grow. <laughs> yes, it's or, ridiculous. And then all of a sudden... When, when you get old, it's hell. Blowing in the wind. You're like, what is that? What is on my ear? Yes. 
Oh my God. <laughs> it's a four foot long hair. Okay. We'll go ahead and remove this pivot collar as well. No, Justin right. has not had Rona. Nope. Nobody's had Rona in this house. Okay, so this is where we're at here. Uh, we got the scale, and we got this G10 insert. And so you can see there's nothing on the back side. There's a couple different ways you can deal with this. Uh, if it's something that you're going to change often, uh, in and out, what I would recommend is drilling a hole through here. Uh, I would take the insert out first, but then you can drill a hole so that uh, if you want to change it later, um, you can just pop it out. Uh, actually, we can see right through there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right through that hole right there where the... Uh, pin goes for the backspacer you can see the back side of the orange uh, right there so we already do have a little bit of a hole there not yet Nate so we'll be able to use that to poke through but give me just a moment this is very fancy with you being the mod Zach your name's blue you have a wrench man you official boy Yeah, avoiding death is a really good priority test. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So Molly, do you take meds to increase sass or decrease it? Definitely. Um, oh man. Uh, to maintain, I guess maintain i don't want to sound bipolar because that's not what it is what's this now taz asked if i take meds to maintain sass or increase sass or decrease sass oh um actually probably decrease because i become a raging bitch <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm gonna yeah put... regulate sass Put a glove on here just to protect my hand a little bit. But and I can. We're just gonna start heating this, uh, heating this scale up. Just heat her up. But I can very easily deplete my sass and not want to talk or do anything. So you know, it's a tangled web we weave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the webs we weave. Yeah, yeah. This ass really just does come naturally slick. <laughs> I'm Buddhist. Good to know. Okay. Comments took a back seat because, oh, that dang math always getting in the way. <laughs> Experience precision said, I can be your official eyebrow hair lookout for a mod. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Can you keep an eye out for chin hairs and neck hairs too? Thanks. Getting older as a lady is real fucking weird. <laughs> I think I, I I don't think it's just the yeah guys have thing. that yeah. Thing. yeah yeah getting older just sucks. Period. But like when you've never had like like stiff hairs, it's always been peach fuzz on your face, and then you get like a a black one. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, where did you come from? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> And you need to leave the premises now. <sighs> it's all hormone related. All right, let's see. <laughs> BJ says, I'd hate to see you without the dope. I don't do the dope. I think he's talking about the pills. No, I know. Oh. Yeah, I'm a lot nicer with medications. Who's got glove jokes? Uh, 
Oh, nice, Taz. I did not know that. Thank you. How will you dye that orange piece? Uh, with uh, Rit dye. So this uh, orange piece is G10, and you can just dye it with uh, Rit dye. Mm -hmm. Are you traveling for work soon to the Baron territory? No. Um, True, William. I will be uh, going out there uh, fairly soon, uh, like in in the next couple of months. Uh, but but yeah, it'll probably be like end of March, something like that. Um, I haven't gotten tickets yet, but I'll be heading out to the Pacific Northwest uh, probably around that time, end of March. Hi, Sean. Um, Slick, I'm going to be 40 before you. I'll be 40 in March. Mm-hmm. Getting old. Wasn't there someone else who wore one glove that was famous, Penny says? <laughs> Should I bedazzle it, Penny? <laughs> Taz said, Jesus, take the wheel. The I'm guessing you meant Tepe has dropped, and now it looks like, oh, the temp. The temp has dropped, and now it looks like rain. Gotcha. <sighs> Do you have a TS-255? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, it's for sale, actually. There you go, BJ. Get your get your wallet out, boy. Um, Eric said, couldn't you just dye it with it still attached, or is the temp too high? Uh, no, no, you could dye it still attached. I don't, uh, I guess, uh, to me, that's kind of half-assing things. Um, so if you dye it when it's still attached, you'll have spots that don't get missed. And then you run the, run the risk of there being, uh, trapped, uh, water and dye and stuff underneath and around the scale or around the in inlay. Uh, but I'm also going to be modifying. I'm not just dyeing the, the inlay. I'm also modifying the titanium. You must have quit. And so... To modify the tie, I have to get this inlay out. Um, thank you for saying we're young because the little OCD junior likes to remind me on the daily how old and decrepit I am. And I'm not even the oldest one in this house, am I, Dad? Nope. So. I mean... You wouldn't know it by looking, but, but I mean, yes, technically. Excuse I, <laughs> you? Technically, I am older. I am young and vivacious looking. <laughs> young and vivacious <laughs> looking. Yeah. Okay. Slick, you shouldn't be scared for Justin just because I'm turning 40. That doesn't make sense. He's turning like 52. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Have, uh, we haven't had a ton of issues with USPS lately. Um, no, we? it seem, seems to be getting a little bit better, or at least it has gotten slightly better here as of late. Couldn't you just um, use a heat gun? Uh, yes, I could use a heat gun. Um, I didn't have a heat gun handy in here, um, but I also uh, like to use the soldering iron because I can direct the heat exactly where I want it. Uh, with the heat gun, it's not nearly as precise. Not yet, Sean, but we're working on it. With the CME. Oh, uh, somebody had asked if it's a good idea to, like, bead blast uh, a scale before you dye it. Yeah, sure. I mean, if that's what you want to do, if that's, that's the she... finish that you want and all that, and depending on materials and all kinds of different things. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I beat blast stuff all the time. Yeah, because she pole dances after all. Yeah. He's not actually that old. He's what, 43 going on 44? I'm. Um... Yeah. Is that right? I think so. Um, 
20 no. next month. No, I'm 42 <laughs> going on 43. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, I'll be 44 in 2022. I... Yep. Act your age, not your shoe size. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't want to be nine. <clears throat> Taz wants an NV2 and M390. Okay. Also, do you know anyone that does DLC or Sarah coding? Um, not, uh, I'm, Do to answer the question this? is yes, um, but not anyone, um, that would, uh, do it for just like one knife. Ooh, are they fighting, um, Zach? I mean, this thing had a lot of glue on it. Way more than I've normally seen. I'm going to shut this off, but let's show you guys here. Tremendous amount of glue on this inlay here. Uh, way more than what I normally see for something like this. Oh, you know, Steve, just tearing apart another knife. <laughs> but, so this one, you could see that there was that little bitty hole. You can see the orange back there right up in that little corner right there so so that made it nice uh but i'll have to get all this glue out of there now and now um i've got uh the bare tie to work with big sal said the guy can tell you the specs of anything but had to stop and think about his own age <laughs> yeah 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 good, yeah good call there Big that happened and <laughs> happens often. <laughs> Daniel wants to know uh, if you have any recommend recommendations for regrinds. What, um, I don't know what you mean by that. I guess like somebody um, to do one or yeah. What, I don't. I don't know what your what kind. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to let these things cool off a little bit. Um, yeah, right on. Well, so this knife we are going to talk about, this is um, a new one from Tucson, and it comes with this uh, sheath right here. By stud, Jelly Jerry is only 19. And it's got... Uh, this uh, comes with a tech lock. Pretty pretty sweet little setup. It's a fairly minimal sheath, uh, fold over uh, style sheath. It's got really good retention. Uh, there's no rattling or shaking. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And uh, it pops in nice. And yeah, it's in there securely, that's for sure. So this thing would be good for, uh, you know, scout carry or however you wanted to set it up um so right now it is set up for uh, vertical carry but you could definitely you know pop this off and reorient uh but the micarta here is feels really fantastic i like the big tall blade what's the model this is the tucson ts265 puffer and this is a mazwan mokdar design uh, one of the things that I wanted to check out, and since I've got some twos out here. Too hot in a hot tub. Uh, I wanted to take these uh, scales off real quick just to see if there's any weight relieving on this guy. Oh, like metal cut out of the center of the... The tang. The tang. Mm-hmm. The pooty tang. There it is. Yeah, this portion is called the tang. Ooh, wee, ooh, sweet dang. 
How about just a little burn time? No, stop. Don't. I'm a virgin. <laughs> Ooh, sweet dang. How about a little burn time? I said I'm a virgin. A little burn time. That's where it's at. I'd like a little one too much. Dear as a hat. God, it's me, Molly. <laughs> All right. So I just cleaned that up. So we've got a beautiful... Uh, I, I just like this design all the way around. It's gorgeous. Uh, the belt satin carries all the way through. She's a beaut. Wipe that off. Um, you got really nice chamfer uh, going all the way around. And the uh, uh, <laughs> scales. Exactly, Poncho. The scales, uh, <laughs> the tang sits a bit proud of the scales. And so they're kind of picture frame or shadow boxing uh, the scales a little bit. It's a it's a beaut. It's super comfortable in hand, and it's really thin too, uh, which is nice. But what's the name again? The puffer. Uh, TS two six five two sixty five puffer, and fourteen C twenty eight N, and she's a beaut. I like it a lot. I think Junior's gone. He hasn't said anything. So we can be as ridiculous as we want now. Is, is P gone? I don't know. I he hasn't said anything for a while. P. Oh, Say something. We actually do have the real live Tang in our cabinet. Do we really? Kaz. We have Tang? Yeah, we did. I didn't know that. Yeah. Remember we were on like a kick to find it for the kids oh that's been a long time ago we still have it from that i don't know maybe i threw it away but... yeah I, I don't want it now that was like five <laughs> years ago i want the nasty ass <laughs> tang now well yeah. we better get some new tang for you how thick is it this second and i'll tell you oh damn it The way they match the Sweden to the handle bolster angle is a nice touch. Yeah, it's it's nice for What's sure. The Sweden. The, I think he meant the swedge. Oh. And so yeah, it's all the way around. It's a it's a gorgeous knife, and you can buy it you know cheap, like fifty bucks. Yeah, he meant swedge. It's hard to find, has, but it does still exist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So, real quick rundown on the dimensions here. Check the Amazon uh, for what, Mick? We'll do it in standard first. You got a blade length of 3.181 oh, inches. Steve, you had a big day. He had a big stack of Tucson show up. Handle length of 4.24. Steve had a bunch of Tucson show up. Yeah, all the way back from like... He ordered almost every week since the beginning of November. 145,000 uh, stock here. And uh, handle thickness... Is 0.473, so a little under a half of an inch, and yeah, it's just it's a beaut. Mazwan always does fantastic designs. Uh, here's another Mazwan design that's uh, actually kind of similar, the blade shape a little bit, uh, you know, tall flat ground blade. No, Mick, we haven't. This is obviously a folder. Evil Lee, you better get on the Tucson train. But. Yeah, they're buttes. And this is another Mazwan design right here. Again, tall flat grind. Um, not all of us are tall flat grinds, but these three are. Uh, yeah, just really, really good looking stuff. So, yeah. Hi, bye, bye, bye. I like a lot. I like a lot. <laughs> Swiss, Swiss, Samsonite. Uh... 
Swami Swims Swamsons. Swam. Samsonite. Do you have your two fifty five handy? Um, I can get it. Well, you... BJ, do you really need to see it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was in the last. There, I'll, I'll go grab it. I know. I think I know where it is. He thinks he knows. You don't own a bench made either. Oh, Zach. That's your department. 12 pieces total, and one of those was a pen, and another was the titanium copper flashlight. Well, it was like Christmas for you, Kluver. What's the number on that one? I don't know. You'll have to wait for him to come back. Oh, too late, BJ. He went. What's the number on the last two sign you pointed out? 255. There it is right there. This is uh, 268. Maybe. I can't remember. Uh, but that's the 255. What's that one? This one's the 264. Um... My favorite on the table? None. Actually, that one. You don't like the Hogue? Or the uh, Ferrum Forge? The Hogue. Yeah, it's on the knife stand here. The Hogue. Oh, yeah. The see, I can't even see those. I'm oh. behind it. I. You don't like the, the yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, That's a good one. Yeah, I guess. I just yeah. don't have a favorite. They're like, oh, look. Some nice knives. <laughs> I'm gonna go shovel some cow shit now. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really handle them or use them or anything, so I can't, I really don't feel like I can say. Yeah, she's got her own knives that she uses all the time, and yeah, that's about the end of that, really. Yeah. Mm. Do you dig the 255? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I like the poon. Uh, it's uh, really comfortable. It's smooth. Real, real comfy in hand. Um, and action, of course, is fantastic. Uh, you can reverse the clip on this one. So for a tie frame lock, uh, you know, not many of those allow you the opportunity to reverse the clip, which is nice. So is that a TS-124 in the middle? Uh, yeah. Was this that the zebra one? Yep, yeah, this yeah. is the 124. And she's smooth. Yeah, it's very, very smooth, actually. Um, it's not uh, not like overly slick or anything, uh, but there's no texture to the, the G10 at all. Where do you order your Tucson knives? Uh, Tucson's uh, can be bought many places. Um, you can get them. I, you know, uh, there's, there's lots of places to go and get Tucson's. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon. You can get them from White Mountain Knives. Uh, you can get them off of eBay. Uh, you can get them off of AliExpress. And so I would just encourage you to do your research and look into which ones that you like. Um, and yeah, they're they're all um, hitting way above their price point no matter where you buy them. Uh, some places you can get a better deal than other places, depending on how much you're willing to, how much time you're willing to spend and all that sort of thing and pay attention and yeah, there's a, yeah, but uh, this one's a new one that just recently <laughs> came out. Um, I can't, I don't remember the number on this one. YouTube is going to flag you for talking about purchasing Tucson's. Why? Say what? Mikey said that. Oh. I don't know. Well, that is quite silly. Yeah. Okay. So is P in here or what? No. No. He got off? Yeah. Okay. Well, then. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Uh, oh, purchasing children joke. Got it. You should have. 
executed that better. <laughs> you made a, a joke about, oh, is that the adoption joke or something? No. What? Oh. Okay. No, Mikey failed. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, gotcha. All right. Well, no like, matter what was said, it was just a joke. Do if you was... like your two, TS-243? The 243? Yeah. I don't remember the two. I don't remember what the two forty three is so, off the top of my head. It was okay. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. It wasn't the memorable. Numbers, well, I don't. I shouldn't say that. I just. I don't remember which one that is. Yeah. Um, what spider co do you carry the most? I mean, actual carry the most. This one. Uh, this pair of three I've carried uh, just about every single day for quite some time. But most of that was due to the fact that I was designing and testing the cme and i was really trying to beat up on it uh the glue uh just to make sure that they wouldn't come off uh so this certainly has gotten the most carry uh in the last year uh this maximet para 3 got him john and you can kind of tell by the blade not only has it got big chips in it the tips busted off of it it's dirty beat up uh, so this has been carried pr pretty much uh, about daily. Uh, recently, um, since I've the CME's pretty well done at this point, at least that model of it, um, I've been carrying this Hogue quite a bit. Uh, so this has been getting quite a bit of carry lately. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I carried uh, William's uh, um, Exploit. Uh, a little bit uh, this is a beautiful knife I really really love this thing it's it's real awesome actually there's there's not much uh, bad to say about this thing it's just a, a gorgeous knife <laughs> Tess, I like big chips and I cannot lie um, what brothers can deny when a girl walks in with a little bit of waist and a red thing in your face, you get sprung. <laughs> um, there's lots of questions. So okay. Stop Rapid fire. Go. Okay. Um, yes. What's that one again? TS-124. And the... this particular model with this G10 is called the TS-124 UP. UP. Okay. So is this one um, your favorite then? The pair of three? Yeah, your favorite Spider Co. Then no. Okay. Nope. Um, is the two forty? Oh, the two forty three is the one I just sent you for trade. Brian said. Oh, oh, then this this is the two forty three. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, I really like. I I could have swore this was called like the two sixty four. Okay. Um, or wait, did he get the two forty three? I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I really like this knife. I had one of these oh, prior to... This one. No, that's the 204. Asking what it is. This is the TS204 Bronc. Uh, this is the Tepe design, and it's a beautiful knife. It's a little bit, a uh, little shorter, a little smaller knife, but uh, still good. It's like a... Like a three, three and a half finger uh, grip for me, but it's a gorgeous knife. I really love it. S90V, and the build quality on this thing is impeccable. Uh, titanium liners, got a hardened steel insert, carbon fiber, white G10, tie clip, tie backspacer. Uh, it's it's beautiful. And from any other company, this would be a 300, 300 to $400 knife with the materials and the way it's made. Daniel wants to know if it's he can buy beautiful. buy that exploit. Uh, no, the exploit's not mine, uh, so it's not for sale. Mikey, you're a turd. I just want you to know that. All right, what else you got? Um, is Saturday night all right for fighting? Sure. Um, I encourage any night for fighting. What up, Friday. Lavender Pants? About time you showed up. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. What other oil than tongue oil would darken the acid stone wash? Would darken an acid stone wash? Uh-huh. What, oil? Yeah. Uh, Mineral oil. 
I don't I don't know what oil would Georgia darken it. Georgia oil. Your mama yeah, oil. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't know. know. Okay, what else you got? Mm, that's that's it. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Oh nope, that's not it. Okay. Do you have a TS two thirty two, the little Barlow looking one? Uh no, I I have had I've had several of them, but they're all gone. Mineral oil. It's non-toxic. Okay. Yeah, mineral oil is non-toxic. True that. Word to your mother. So... What else? What else do you want to know? <laughs> yeah. You keep one knife on the table. Which one? All of them. Okay, fine. Um, your shit, Mikey. <laughs> uh, out of what's out here? Um... Boy, I don't know. I mean, just from a material standpoint, uh, the nicest thing on the table, well, the BJ. Shaman, the C, the, the uh, 4V Shaman is a beauty, but that knife isn't mine. Actually, both knives that are on the stand right now are not mine. Uh, so the 204 Bronc is definitely right up there. Uh, the Mazwan designs are fantastic the hoag's great um yeah you know and the american blade works is nice as well um it's just kind of i don't know they wanted to know well the question was which one would you keep if you had to pick one if i had to pick one out of what is here on the table um if it was something that I was going to carry and use, boy, I'd say I'd probably go with the 204. There you go. Yep. This is a great little knife. I like the Warrencliffe blade. It's great blade steel. It's made extremely well. It's comfortable in hand. It's got good fidget factor. It's a good little knife. Oh, yeah, and Daniel... From earlier, asking about the regrind, he's looking for recommendations of someone to do a regrind. Oh, well, that just depends on what you're looking for and um, what you want to spend and what knife it is and whether you want hollow or flat grind. And Thin out is Mordax and P Pison? A Pis yeah, is that Pison? how you say it? Yeah. With hollow grind. Uh, BJ gave you a recommendation. He's, you know, he might be a hillbilly, but <laughs> you can trust him. Yeah, um... I don't remember, uh, yeah, BJ was telling me about some guy that's been advertising a bunch Alex of regrinds. Alex Stein Grabber? Sure, there you go. I don't know, I personally don't know much about that guy, but um, BJ vouches for him, says he does good work, then I trust that for sure. So, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is Choil actually usable on the Bronx? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a little bit small for my fingers, but, mm -mm. but I mean, you can get in there for sure. And, you know, it's really more that you're pulling back on this surface, but, you know, I have way bigger hands than most. And so if I can get my finger up in there, most anybody else will be able to as, as well. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I borked. You want to guess what's uh, not on the table? At this point, I have I don't I I have no idea. Honestly, um, is it a knife that's missing? There is one knife. There is one knife. And and bragger, <laughs> quit bragging about your big hands. <laughs> okay. Wasn't bragging. Just trying to give you some reference. Um. Boy. Um, 
man, I don't, re- I don't remember what all was out here. I'm winning for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Give me a give me a hint. Give me some sort of hint. It's two toned. The knife is mm. two toned. Yeah. It's two toned. And. What? Flipper tab? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> and it was out of sight for all of the show. Oh, then I, I have no idea. Because you put it back here. Oh, yeah. Well, then I, I am not going to know. I barely remember what all was in frame, let alone what was sitting outside of it. It's a Tucson? It is? Yeah. Okay. Again, um, there's only like 14 Tucsons laying out here, so, <laughs> you know, I honestly don't know. Bags and Amos said, and Molly wins. <laughs> yeah, and Molly wins. Oh, the 118. Yeah, it was sitting right here the whole time. Yeah, this is a gorgeous knife as well. <laughs> uh, Max Chanik design. and I don't even think they could have seen it. Yeah, Actually. probably not. Uh, this is a Max uh, design as well. Both these designed by the same guy. But this is another knife that's made really nice uh, materials. <laughs> M390 titanium with the copper inlay. And action on it, it's just a beauty. And it's packaged extremely well also. If you look, uh, actually look at Max's designs... Uh, the pivot, you know, is way right out at the very end of the scales. <laughs> right, Max? <laughs> and so you get, uh, you know, really good blade length, blade to handle ratio. Um, anytime you see a knife, well, like the exploit here, where you've got a lot of more space in between the pivot and the end of the scale. Um, I'm, nothing that I have out here right now is uh, real terrible at that. Um the American Blade Works has got a little, little bit that they could uh, be better with right there. But you know, moving that pivot right out to the very end of the scale allows you to to put a blade in that you know uses all of the handle. So, yep. Lavender fans has some strong feelings on the elemental button lock. The what? Elementum. Okay. Button lock. Okay. He says it's not appealing at all. Not appealing at all. Okay. It's basically like a push button auto without a spring. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, sometimes you know some of those things. You they, should write to your congressman. <laughs> they think are going to be phenomenal. Don't end up being that wonderful. Yeah. Uh. But. Yep. I like flipper tabs. You like flipper tabs? So what else did you take off the table? You said there were there was more stuff that you took? Well, since you don't have a chance in hell. Okay. I just moved stuff around. You just moved <laughs> stuff around, okay. But then you left again, and I decided to take something. Okay, so did you take something or not? No. Okay. Fidget factor, though. Hmm. Where did you find the TS-255? They're sold out. Uh, well, I've had this for quite some time. So, uh, obviously, I got it before they were sold out. <laughs> I don't know what else <laughs> to know. tell you. Um, it came from Tucson, and but I've had it for several months, many months. Uh but it's nice. It's a nice knife for sure. Like I said, she it's can... for sale. Yeah, so there you go. It's it for was sale, in, Shane. It was in the last knife sale. Uh, you can go back and check out the video. And uh, all the knives are listed in the description. And this one's got a little custom anno going on. Uh, it's also got my logo inside the handle. And yeah, she's a beaut. So, there you go.
Yeah. Right on. Well. Any other questions before we go? Yeah, it's 9.30. It's about that time. Yeah. You know, got shit happening tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we got things we got to do. So. I have a great voice. Why, thank you. I hope everyone has a wonderful week next week. Um, hopefully all good things come to everyone. And, um, yeah, if anyone's got any questions or anything, type those in now. Otherwise, we are going to get out of here. Yeah, exactly, Max. You were late. I think my voice sounds stupid. <laughs> when I hear it, like, uh, you know. On something. Yeah. yeah. No, I, yeah, I think I, everybody feels that way, though. Yeah, yeah. So... Any questions? Best way to remove glue from inlay and titanium skills. Oh, uh, con contact cleaner. Contact cleaner is your friend. Yep. So, like in this case, where there's you know big, yeah, contact cleaner, it's it's excellent. So this will just wipe right off. So, yep. <laughs> Mikey says I sound like a girl on the phone. Like, he sounds like <laughs> yeah, a girl. Yeah, yeah, um, You probably sound like a girl in real life, too. Got him. Me? <laughs> no, him. Oh, Mikey. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at you. I was oh, okay. talking about you. <clears throat> I looked at Spiderco. It won't accept Watu. It won't accept a CME. Yeah, the Watu is going to be pretty difficult. Uh, I looked into it. I, I could make it work, uh, but it's, it's going to require, uh, you know, doing some finagling. Um, but, I mean, it. so let me rephrase that. It would work, but it's going to require a mod. Uh, where is it at? You know, the, the standard one, uh, it won't just fit right in there. But mm -hmm. I, if someone wanted to order one for the Watu, um, I can... Make them a special one. So. Yeah. Yep. Would it have to be a special one and you'd have to mod the knife? No, oh. no, no, no. No, I'm just saying I, I would have to make some accommodations for the blade mm -hmm. on the CME, uh, but it would work just fine. Similar to the Shaman uh, CME. Did you get a Reclol Native OCD? No, they have not come out yet. They're not, they haven't released yet. Not yet. <clears throat> but I will get a wreck little native uh, when they come out. And then we'll show it to you? Yep, and then you'll see it on my channel, and then you'll know that, uh, that I have it. Yep, yep, yep. Probably see it in an unboxing. Yep. I'll, so I'll certainly know. do an unboxing of all the spider codes. So Subscribe. when the new, new spider codes come, I get every single one. Uh, so yeah, subscribe and hit the bell notification button and, uh, and then, yeah, then you'll see every single spider co that comes out, gets released. I get one. Even and... if you subscribe, just come back every single day and check and see. <laughs> yeah. And if you're, if there's no new video, just watch an old one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you get really mad at me, hit that thumbs down button two times. <laughs> Hit it twice to let me know you're really mad. Two times. Real mad. That's right. <laughs> and then go to the website. Yeah, go to OCD3DC.com. And then buy all the things. And buy all the things. There you go. And then go. try and return them. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Good stuff. And join our Patreon. <laughs> all right. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. We're going to get out of here. It's getting late. I got to get all this junk picked up for tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, we got early th deal tomorrow. And then I got to hit the road for a couple of days for work. So, yeah, hope er hopefully everybody had a good time tonight. Hanging out. Tearing knives apart and stuff. Bullshitting. We'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Be safe. Do it to them. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. We out.